What's up, everybody? I'm Riley, uh, WG... No, I am RWG Research. Dot com. You are technically R-A-G Research. Yeah. I mean, it's my initials, if no one actually figured that out by now. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, one for the books. There's other things with the name that nobody understands either, but we won't talk about that. Okay. We're I mean, working I on our given hobby zone airplane that's yep. brand new. I, I think so. Pretty new. And it was given to us. Yep. So why was it given to us? Because, uh, uh <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, we some, like to fix things. because, uh, the guys at the fly field are kind enough to give us things that they, uh, either crash or don't want to mess with. And sometimes, uh, they come in, uh, blessings such as this. So the cool thing is, is, um, I told you guys that most of these airplanes that we have here are like things that we're giving to us or whatever. Well, yeah. there's another one. <laughs> and it has all the electronics, including the receiver, which is amazing because this will do our gyroscopic uh, stuff. And it'll and then allow. We'll be able to fly it. Exactly, allow you guys to fly it well. So the wing is here. The wing is in perfectly good condition. Everything is in good condition. But he was stunt flying it and crashed it. Apparently, he works. The guy that originally had this works for. Um, Hobby Zone or Horizon Hobby. Yeah. Horizon Hobby, I think. Yeah, Horizon Hobby, because our airplane that we have are also from yeah. Horizon Hobby. Or maybe it's Hobby Zone. But anyway, what are we going to do? We are going to 3D um, scan this, and then we're going to make a 3D printed front for it instead of trying to fix it with more styrofoam. Correct. So the hope was that this side is, like, intact. And so if we could 3D scan this whole thing and then just mirror it and, and then print out a lightweight front for the for the front. It has to be, you know, pretty light because the styrofoam doesn't weigh much. Not at all. This, I can't even feel like it's, it doesn't really feel like it's on here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's light. It's really light. Yeah, so the idea is, can we 3D print, print the front? So that's our goal. And we got to do it with some, you know... Some I don't know yet how we're gonna do this, but some stuff. Yeah, but this thing's really light, and I mean really light. And like everything's internal. None of the servos are sticking out of the back. They're like nowhere to be found. It's all internally controlled inside the body, um, the fuselage. So let's see if we can scan this with the Rev Point Pop Two scanner. Link in description for that. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if it'll scan. Let's try it. Yeah. Alright, so we scanned it. Uh, to be totally honest, this honestly, it looks like a shipwreck. Um, this was my arm I got in the way. But it looks like it scanned pretty darn well, so we're going to save this and try to make this happen. I honestly don't know how well or not well, but you know what? We're going to give it a shot. So we'll do all the processing magic and attempt to work with this file. We'll see. Okay, we meshed it, and uh, it looks really, really good. Check that out. So now we need to try to figure out how to like actually work with this file because I have not done much stuff quite like this. Anyway, I thought about just printing a part to fill in all these holes. I think it would be hilarious, but I didn't scan it with this part in there. So let's keep going. After a ton of work and a lot of modeling, which I am learning how to do with the right kind of stuff, I modeled it and then I printed it. I have no idea how I want to get this off. I have no idea what it weighs, but 
that is the top of the plane. Let's see if I can get this off. Riley? Yeah? Have you seen? Seen what? Ooh, you finished it. Yeah, it was a lot of work. It looks really nice. Like, really nice. Right? Much better than what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I 3D scanned it, obviously. We did that, and then I did a lot of modeling, and now I just gotta see if it's the right size. Looks pretty close. We'll make it work. What if it's not? I'm gonna hack that up and glue it on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know what to expect. I hope that this comes off. My thing. Just fine, but. Hey. Come on, baby. Ta da! That was all, unfortunately, just to support the front. Oh, it's heavy. Looks cool. Oh, let's look at this thing. Look how cool this looks. Not too bad, right? Except for the top right there, but. Yeah, I tried to make the top thicker and then the temperature got hot, which is why it looks bubbly. It's so cool. It's definitely nowhere near styrofoam weight. Mm. It's, it's very heavy. There's some plastic to come off the inside of there too, but... Anyway, let's just see if it fits. You want to? Yes. Okay. Just feeling a little bit of taking this stuff out. Don't worry, I have a tool for that. <laughs> it's called a chisel. Let's see if that works. Whoa. That's satisfying. Huh. Looks terrible, but it's all gonna get glued on there. But I had a hard time getting the bottom correct started and stuff, so I'm just glad it turned out that good. There Alright, so I made a little insert for this. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a hole, an insert where the wheel goes. Can you go get the wheel? It's up on the shelf on the where all the st stuff is. Yeah, up there on the shelf. Gray shelf. Is it this? Yeah. So I, I'm going to print some little inserts that go here that are thicker. I hold this in place. And that's the tire for the front. So I got, I, I have to print those still. That's for the front tire. Wow, that's a big tire for the front. <laughs> so that's good. All right, the real trick, man, that is heavy. It's solid, though. Oh, I should have printed it with less infill. Oh, well, live and learn. Look at all the, like, mesh work I did and how it all turned out. I can show this. It's super fun. It's exactly the way the model looks. I mean, it should, but it's just interesting. None of these shapes are perfectly the same and stuff. I tried to mold in this little thing, which is for air. That's on the normal one. Man, that looks pretty cool. Let's get the plane down and see if it fits. Alright, there it is. This piece falls off, so let's just see. Man, it looks pretty good. So I'm afraid to just cut this. Let's see if this fits. That's not great. No. Well, does it not fit? I don't know. Fits on here. Pretty good. Well, maybe not. It's like exactly the right width. So it should fit on there perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's even pretty close to the oh, right length. Daddy, maybe it's because it's not actually... It's like not a corner. But yet it's like wobbly? Maybe it needs to be a sharp, sharp. But even curve. if I even if I cut that off, this still doesn't really fit. This doesn't fit at all. Does not make any sense. Okay. Cool. <laughs> we'll figure it out.
Dexter, I'm gonna explain this to you, but also for the camera. So look, I printed this piece, and I scaled it to match this. So like, you see how this like goes out? Yeah. I wanted that to fit on the outside of here. So it just slip over the outside, and then I could glue it, but it's small, and it actually fits like perfectly around it instead which is actually totally fine. But what that means is the whole front shrunk, side shrunk. So when I went to put this on, it didn't fit. I had to cut this all out. So even though I measured it and scaled it perfectly, when you 3D scan something, it doesn't scale it, or at least I, I don't think, I don't know how to do that if it does, or I'm not doing so, I don't think it does. I think you have to fix that later. So I carved all this out and put all this on there and made, made it all work and then when I tried to actually put this on, this was like, it was actually sticking out like this far. So I was like, what do I do? Print the whole thing again? No. I just literally cut the front off and made it short. So it's totally fine. But I got the wheel in there. I think it's really in there. Those nice are good. But I got the wheel in there, see? This is the arm. But because the whole thing's short, I got to re read to fix this so what I did is I cut the wood out instead because <laughs> it would hit when it went back mm -hmm. but this goes on here and then it goes in the servo mount right there and then when you turn the servo it turns the wheel nice so do you like front steering or back steering front I would say front but you know this when the front steers the tail turns mm -hmm. so this technically has both but on the ground, when you're going real slow, it's kind of the front only that the wing doesn't do much when you're not going very fast. But as soon as you get some airspeed, this doesn't do nearly as much. You start relying on that. But I like the way there's no prop up here. Mm -hmm. It's here. It's really hard to break that, right? It makes it really yeah. nice to come down and wrong. You don't hit the front. Like, it doesn't matter. So I really like that. But I had to drill this out and put the spacer in here. Oh, I did so much nonsense to get this to... But yeah, Holly. there you go. Is it hollow or solid? Uh, no, it's got like some hollow spots to it. So it's if you can actually look, see the holes? Mm -hmm. You see how it's hollow in there? Yeah. There's like a cross pattern when I printed did it. Did you um um what did you do to get that smooth? Sand it? No, I printed it. Mommy, can you clean up the? You printed it and it was that floor? smooth. Yeah. Mommy. Can we clean up the mess on the yes, and I'm coming. And you can see all my. I literally took like my mouse and took like a flattening tool and like flattened the the model. And you can see where like I ran my tool path. Yeah. Look, look in the bottom. Look how like it's just like molded and like I know, it looks what, like clay. It does. Yeah, I did that in three in dimension. Program? Yeah, in my program because I didn't know how to work with a mesh file. Hmm. There, that, there's your voxels, Dex. See how they're like blocks. Perfect. Here, I'll put it here. See how they're like blocks? Mm -hmm. Okay, they're lines and blocks, but you see how they're like blocks? Okay, that's the voxelation that I did before. And I smoothed all the voxels out of this, but I left it there, so I wanted to see what it looked like when I printed it. Just to see if it'd show up. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. So the whole outside would have looked like that around the whole front and the back and the sides. The reason it doesn't is because I smoothed it out with the... I used a program called... Um, Mesh mixer, Brought I think. Wait, how was it? Yeah, standing up. Printed it like this. Um, and then I, I used too hot of a temperature on the top. That's why it looks funny. Uh -huh. um, and then look, you can see like the cross pattern, like the wings. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's that infill cross pattern that I put in it. But if I do this again, it's way too thick. I could do like one less layer on the outside and way less mm -hmm. infill. What's and, that? air hole like here i don't think that was there originally but it, when i scanned it, it Ali! <laughs> i'm not gonna the art. when i scanned it it showed up so i just left it figured it would help the airflow anyway but there's no there's no hole in the tail so the wind can't actually get out it has to go up through the the motor port i guess so what am i hitting stuff. Your fingers and stuff mm -hmm. anyway Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. I think it turned out pretty cool. I actually like the gray and black. I think it looks neat. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, we got. So what I did though is, I, since there's so much weight up here, 
you know, the battery's supposed to be like way up here. So instead of putting the battery way up here, I thought I could put it back further to get my balance correct, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I put, I made like a standoff so I could put it, the battery above the servos and stuff. So this will go on top of there and then I can put the battery back, back further. I think it'll still fit. Here, let's put it this way and try it. Let's say, I, let's say I left it like way out there. Does it still? Oh, I have to make this smaller before we can mm -hmm. get that in. There's a huge amount of room in here. There's no reason why they shouldn't fit. There's an air hole right there. Yeah. A lot of air holes. Yeah, because you need to cool the electronics on the inside. The speed controller and the motor, they get hot, so you need some airflow through there. So they ran the air in, it's got to go out somewhere. So it'll come out those bottom hole a little bit, and the front's for intake too. Pretty cool though. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think it'll be fun to fly. But yeah, I think our gravity's gonna be too, or our center of gravity is gonna be too much in the front because this weighs way more. See how light this is. <laughs> That's like nothing. This thing weighs like, mm, I wouldn't say as much as this, but almost. Oh wow. It is a big difference. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we have to jam the battery back to get our balance like right. right here? Maybe even that far, yeah. It'll fit. There's nothing there. Wires. That's why I put this kept this tray on there so we could stick it out the back. Mm -hmm. So anyway. This is a mess, by the way. <laughs> but isn't that okay. cool? So this is the first 3D printed plane part ever that I've ever actually, like, fully built. A, like a, I mean, I've made little parts, but not like a whole shell. I think it looks pretty nice. It was a nightmare, Dexter, working with the mesh. It was terrible. It took like an hour to load up, and then like I'd change something, and it would take an hour to process. Fusion 360 locked up all the time, which is what I usually use for 3D stuff. So I used Mesh, Me mesh Mixer by Autodesk. And at least it's easier to work with, and you can like mold it, and you can like, almost like brushing in three dimension with surfaces, and you can stretch it, and you can push it. But you know what really bothered me? What? I like things to be symmetric. Like, like two hands. This one's the opposite of this one. This thing is like this. This hand is all this way and that hand is all this way. They're not like symmetric. Which drives me... It, it drives me a little nuts that it's not symmetric. So that's the only thing that I didn't like about it. Is I couldn't like... If I did half of it and then mirrored it, I could. But I had a hard time with that too. Anyway. I'm learning about how to work with meshes, so if you guys know a better way to work with meshes, don't tell me Blender, because I've never used it, but maybe that's the way to go. But any other programs besides Mesh Mixer or Blender for like these high qu triangle count meshes and uh, 3D scans, do let me know what you guys use out there. See ya. Bye. <laughs>